Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, BC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So today is the 14th, and uh, we are in the middle of Holy Week, and this is Thursday. So some churches celebrate what's called Monday Thursday. It's the day where Jesus went and had his meal with his disciples sat down and and had his last supper, right? It's where we get the practice of communion from, the holy elements of the bread and the wine, the cup representing that new covenant. It's also where Jesus washed the disciples' feet and set the example of servanthood. It's the day that Jesus gets up from the table and they all go to the garden to pray. But most people don't think about what happened that day at the temple. Now, I can't tell you that this actually happened on this day, but I can tell you I'm very confident this happened on that week. It was just one of the many, many lessons Jesus taught on while he was at the temple teaching that last week. There in the temple courts, teaching the truths of God. And in chapter 21 of Luke, we read this. He looked up and saw the rich dropping their offerings into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow dropping in two tiny coins. They were called mites. The smallest denomination of the Jewish currency of that time. Be like us here in the United States, having two pennies. Two tiny coins. Verse 3, I tell you the truth, Jesus said. This poor widow has put more in more than all of them combined. For all these people have put in gifts out of their surplus, but she, out of the poverty, has put in all she had to live on. And there are so many things that we can draw out of this. The fact that she trusted God to provide for her. The fact that she gave sacrificially. The fact that the rich people didn't even try to give in a way that would cause them any discomfort. Where they would have to trust God at all. But I think it's more... Not more, but it's important to also look at today especially. One more thing. The rich people were giving out of the the surplus. They'd already taken care of everything they, they needed to take care of. They'd taken care of their tithe. They'd taken care of their housing expenses. They knew that their family was taken care of. They had all the feed they needed for their animals. Everything was taken care of. And this is what I got left over, and so I'm going to give God some of it. And it was large portions. But she, not even taking care of all of those things, gave God everything. The reality is, So many times when it comes to our belief in God, our trust in God, our willingness to have God in our lives, we want to add him in as an afterthought, but not an inconvenience. The widow set the example for us to give everything we have to God and trust that he will provide for our needs. Are you willing to give everything over? The answer may really be no. It's okay to say that. It it is okay to say that. But it's not okay to stay there. The only way to get over that is to work out step one and step two. Realize you're powerless. Realize there is a power. And then step three says, turn everything over to him. 
And so if you're not willing to give it all to Jesus, if you're not willing to give it all, be honest about it. Realize you're powerless. Then recognize that God is all powerful. That doesn't change anything. That just makes a statement of fact. But you got to believe it. And once you get there and you realize that he's all powerful, it's then that you can say, God, please help me to want to give it all over to you. It's such a critical step. And we often forget that these are the teachings that Jesus gave that last week of his life. They hold so much strength, so much power, if we allow them to speak into our lives. Tonight, as we, as we go through the day, we can remember that we should be asking God to give us the ability to give it all over to him. But then tonight, not only do we have that example that he gives, but he reminds us of who he is through the Last Supper, through the washing of feet, and through the time of prayer. Today is Monday, Thursday. Tomorrow, Jesus is crucified. Let's learn the lessons that he had for us today. I love y'all. I truly do, and I hope that you have a great and blessed day. Don't forget, if you would, like and share this video. God bless.